Hello, 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 it's Dolly, and I am back with How to Kill a Kit with Style. I took about three months off. I think I can fit this now back in my schedule for a little bit. Anyway, let's get to my September kit. These are my different types of embellishments, and we'll go through that in a minute. I will go through that quickly, but anyway, I put them in my little sorting bin here. But let's start with the papers first. All right, what I did was I went through all of my stash of scraps and 12 by 12 papers, and I just made a stack. And then I went through and I grouped them together how I thought a page layout would work. I do not have any photographs selected, so therefore these might get remixed up. All right, so, but anyway, this is my initial thought. All right, I have a um, six by four paper, and this is from a uh, color pack um, a long time ago from Hobby Lobbies. They carry that, that's a staple product um, at Hobby Lobby, so I'm sure that you can still find that. So that is just out of my stash. This is a small branding strip from, uh, let's see, I wrote on the back some little notes here. Good Vibes, Echo Park. Then I have this strip that is Heidi Swap Hawthorne Nightfall. Then this is not a full 12 by 12, but it's probably 12 by 11. I used it at one point to cut a border, to make a border. Anyway, this is Bella Boulevard Illustrated Faith Hope. And then I have a 12 by 12 cardstock from Close to My Heart. That's the base paper. All right, the next one here I have one, two, three, four, six by six papers. And this here is, even though it's cut perfectly, um, this paper I can tell it's rough on one and smooth on another. So this is, um, it's not Bella Boulevard. Basil, basil paper. I think this is probably um, a cut up sheet from, um, I'm going to say this would be My Mind's Eye maybe, or Jelly Beans, Jelly Beans. So anyway, I have these and this is an old, 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 old My Mind's Eye. And then this 12 by 12 sheet is Jen Hadfield Patio Party, and this is Shady Spots, and I love the green and the blue, and I paired it up with this one here, which is, yep, Jen Hadfield, and it's My Bright Light. So, same designer, same manufacturer, different collection, but look at, they go perfectly together, so I thought that would make one layout. All right, here's another one. I thought I'd throw one in for fall. And the same thing, I pulled out some six by six pads of paper. And I have no idea, but those are little deers. And then I have little bicycles. And then this was gifted. We did a long, long time ago where we started a box and we passed it around and we took out goodies from it and then we sent it to the next one. That was so, so fun. A lady from Florida, Kim, it was a suggestion over at the Secret Not So Secret Kick Club. It, that was awesome. I'd love to do that again sometime. But anyway, there's that. Then this 12 by 12 sheet is Dear Lizzie, It's All Good. I used it for that side. And then this wood, beautiful wood grain from Pink Paisley, Arben Lane collection number two. I loved this collection when it came out. I mean, I remember that was a kit that I had received from um, the Secret Not So Secret Kit Club, and I remember getting it, and I killed that kit like in two weeks. I loved, loved. But anyway, I picked up an extra um, 
wood grain paper. I think like two of them because I loved that so much. So I thought that would be one page layout. So I've got three going. I wanted to do at least one a week. I know there's five weeks. No, there's not five weeks in September. But anyway, one one a week. All right, so I have one six by six. Then I have this little scrap from somewhere with the touch of pink. I thought that was kind of cool. And then I have this scrap right here from Amy Tan sketchbook. And this, I know, is really old, 2011. And I saved it because I would cut out these little cameras. Um, let's see how much I get used. So I decided to focus on this side, doing a black and white layout. This is Crate Paper Cool Kid. And the collection, I think, was called Boys Club. And I got it for this plus sign. Then another crate paper. And uh, this came out in 2018. Oh, all, all heart. And I selected for the polka dot. So I have four page kits. And I'm going to store all this in my little holder from close to my heart because I'm on the Mini Kit Monday team and have been for a while, over over a year, a year and a half. I don't want to get the two mixed up. I've done that in the past. <laughs> you start, they start getting mixed up um, towards the end. Anyway, I picked this um, petal up. I mean, I picked it up. I got it from my stash. I think... Um, it's called a burlap flower. I got some butterflies here. I don't remember who's this from. This is Bella Boulevard. And then I have Pink Fresh Studios. I don't remember which line. Let's let's see. Oh, out and about. That came in a warehouse box. And then for my embellishments. All right, here I have like enamel dots here and some sequins that I thought they would go with layout. I didn't want to pick out sequins for every layout, so I wanted to stay focused. So that's why I figured I would just, there's that one with, you know, the, the fall looking one. And then, is there, oh, the first layout that I did with the Bella Boulevard. So that's that. Then here is um, embellishments. I've got wood veneer. I've got um, chipboard in here. I've got some acetate pieces. Oops, there's a enamel dot, a rubber charm. This is like a very thin chipboard. I love this from close to my heart. I hope they do more like that. That's a chipboard. Wood buttons. Here's that acetate. And then just some tabs just from all mix of collections. Like this is, I know, um, Illustrated Faith, but I don't know. But there's a puffy, but some tabs. And this is just kind of to get me started. If I have to reach outside because I actually cannot make any of this work, then I will. I give myself permission, but I try not to. I try to make what I selected work. You know, I might get little add-ons. I know what I will give myself permission to add on because I work off a small, small desk. Okay, very, very small corner desk is I don't pre-select my alphas and I give myself permission to use any type of splatters or Nuvo drops on my layouts or distressed inks. I don't, I don't plan on using any stencils. That's not in my mind, but I might use them to do splatters um, you never know. All right, in that I love, 
I remember when they came out with these. I know you can still get these glitter tapes, but they're not adhesive. I love these. You just peel this back. Man, oh man, I love that. I I probably have just only a couple more strips. I think I got one in pink and black, but wow. I really, really love those. So I got some tabs and cards and this huge sticker from many, many years ago from um, Creative Memories. So I've got to get it used. I always have problems with um, a lot of white space when it comes to my letters like that or too much around flowers. If they're large enough, I will cut around them. If not, I end up gifting, gifting them to someone or um, you know, give them away to daycare or nursery, some place that does arts and crafts schools. So I only have a little bit because I'm going to get into my alphas. I have this old, oh, acrylic piece, go, just says go. So like I said, I give myself permission on my alphas and that would be my, I mean my, um, yeah, my alpha words that are puffy stickers or chipboard or whatever they may be or uh, letters to dig into that. But that's that's just my starting point, guys. That's just to get you started. So that is what I selected. It's a little white chipboard. I can color those. So that's what I was talking about. Or I can leave them white. Again, this is very, very old. I don't know if that's from Close to My Heart or what's the other company that, that they specialize like in stamping and stuff. Oh my gosh, they used to have a chipboard that came out in a big sheet. And like I said, that's very, very old. All right, guys, that is my kit. I will do my best to put up videos. Um, if not, we do the kit reveal in, in the beginning. And then we do what's left over, our killer kit at the end of the month and if we have time to put up videos throughout the month we will so anyway that is why it is so important for if you're not a subscriber I would love to have you as a subscriber and then you um, give me a thumbs up plus watch the video all the way through every time you're watching the videos that helps bring the traffic it used to be by the thumbs up but not anymore it's by the watch time and the interaction so anyway if you'd like to leave a comment leave a comment but most importantly down below I have all the links to the ladies that to their channels that are participating with how to kill a kit with style so please go and follow along and what else is it gonna say um, well just enjoy your day and come back again. Oh, hit the bell button because you never know when we're going to post. Everybody post their kit reveal the first day of the month and then their kill a kit the last day of the month. But in between that, there could be posting of layouts and you're not going to know that unless you are a subscriber and you hit that bell button. And then also when you hit click that bell button, it some of them have drops drop downs and it'll ask you if you want to be notified every time or once in a while or whatever the case may be but anyway you have a few selections all right and I would appreciate it if you said all the time but you do what you want to do all right and get out your photographs document those memories in a fun creative way because you are documenting history and try to do some journaling either on your layout hidden journaling on back of your layout but most importantly at least put the date if you can remember or at least the year who's in the photograph and at least what you're doing but you can also add journaling that talks more about the that that layout all right I've rambled on en enough it's time for you to hop on over to the other ladies channels and see what their kit looks like all right we'll see you later bye <music>